It's about 6.30 p.m. on Sunday, Hi. September 29th, I believe. Yeah, that's right, because Tuesday's the first. And my wife is just feeding a little bit of chicken feed to the sheep, um, the ones that are friendly. Just trying to teach them to be friendly with her. So it's about 87 degrees right now, 30% humidity. Hey, don't we have sweet feet at home in the garage? Yes, we, we should bring some. Yes. Yeah. Hi, sweetie. There's that little one that we had. I had a video of her being born. Hi, so, oh, here comes some more sheep. <laughs> Is Granny Hi, there? Sweetie. Is Granny one of those sheep? Hi, no. Sweetie. Look at them come. <laughs> Here they come. Oh no, there's a sheep on the ground. I'm going to go check it out. Oh no, that, that's the mineral feeder. The old mineral feeder that I used to use. <clears throat> I thought that was a sheep on the ground. Sun is bright and hot. <laughs> no, that's Granny right there. One of the things I'm looking at with the sheep is their condition. It's kind of hard to tell with the sheep how good their condition is when their fur is thick, but right now when they're all shed, it's pretty easy to tell. Same way as the cows, you check their left back side to see if that triangle is filled in. And you're looking for just round shapes rather than angular shapes. Um, the round shapes represent fat. Another thing to look at that I was, I don't remember where I picked this up from, but uh, you can look at their back legs. If their back legs are like tight together like this, that means they don't have much fat or muscle on them. You want their legs to kind of be splayed out a little bit. Um, they'll kind of walk, um, you know, like in a different way with their legs kind of in the outside, the back legs. So I'm not seeing too many sheep that show that behavior very much. Yami is a good example. You can see Yami's legs here. See how Yami doesn't put the legs straight up and down, but like splays them out. Here, let's get around. Here comes Yami. <laughs> Yami's a chunky lover muffin. All right, let's look at Yami's back legs. You kind of see how they're, they go out to the side rather than straight up and down. Okay, I'll give you some. So that, that's a good sign. That's what you want on your lambs and your sheep. Apparently. <laughs> so. I talked with my friend about selling the calves right now. We're waiting till spring. And he says it probably doesn't make a difference. It just depends on how much feed you have. And so what I'll probably do is, because I have so much hay this year, um, I want to roll the hay out and have it trampled into the soil. I'll use the calves to do that winter. Uh, if I get the feeling like I'm going to run out of feed or hay, uh, then I'll sell all the calves. Um, but I think showing up to market in the spring with bigger cows might get me a little more money, especially because I already have the hay. Um, the hay's just going to rot anyway. So, all right, guys, have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.